Hello everyone and welcome back to the FRC Historian, where today I'm going to be starting my second in my series of most underrated teams in FRC, where today I'm going to be going over Team 5030, the second mouse. Now let's start off with this team's first year in 2014. Now here in 2014, their first ever competition, that being the New York Tech Valley Regional, where they would rank second in the entire regional, going 10-2 in the qualification rounds. Where here as ranked second, they would receive the highest rookie seed award for being in this rank, where they go on to pick teams 340 and 1708. Where here, they would actually go 0-2 in the playoff matches. However, for their first ever competition, not only being on an alliance, but also captaining a very high ranking one, is very respectable, and along with some very high scores all over, and a very low margin between in their first match between them and the other alliance, they had a very respectable first competition ever for the rookie year. Now, because of this, when they went on to move the Arch to the Archimedes Division in the championship, this being a very respectable feat, as they did win the very coveted Rookie All-Star Award at the Regional. Now here, they would go on to become ranked 78th with a record of 3-7. and seven. They were able to put up some very respectable scores and be an uh, active part of the matches they were in with their alliance partners in the qualification matches. However, they were not selected by an alliance, but yet merely being at the World Championship is a very impressive feat, especially as a rookie team. Now we're going to move on to their 2015 season. Now, 2015 was their sophomore season, and they started off at the same place, this being the New York Tech Valley Regional. Now, at the New York Tech Valley Regional this year, they would go on to select, they would go on to be ranked 7th with an average ranking, average qualification match score of 85.75. The rankings being different in 2015, as you all should know. Or here, as ranked 7th, they would align with teams 263 and 527 where they would, in the quarterfinals, get a score of 106 and 98, giving them a playoff score, average playoff score of 102, where they were only a few points off of the rank 4th, as they were rank 5th overall by match score, where if they had a few more points, they would have moved on to the uh, next round, thus making their way to the semis. However, they didn't, but they were very close, which is very respectable, especially for their first competition in their second year. Now, outside of robot performance, they also won the Industrial Design Award at this competition. Next up, they are going to Finger Lakes, Regional, where they would rank fourth with an average qualification match score of 107.73, thus this being much higher than both their average ranking qualification as well as playoff score, where here they would go on to be with teams 1511 and 191, that being the two-time Hall of Fame inductee, the X-Cats, where here they would uh, get a high enough ranking score in the, in the quarterfinals, they would move on to the semifinals this time. When the semifinals, they went 146, 52, and then 156. However, not high enough to grant them access to the finals. Very respectable scores of 146 and 156 in these two semifinals matches. And being ranked fourth, having an average qual score of 107.73 and an average playoff score of 117.2 are very respectable for this team's second year. And overall, they went 96.26 in qual average and then 112.86 in playoff average, which is very good for the second year, especially especially with a lot of these matches having some very high results. Now we're going to move on to 2016, back to where you have a regular record rather than average score, where here was a first, has a very big first for them. Now here they went on to the New York City Regional, which was the first not going to the New York Tech Valley, where as ranked fifth, going 6-2 and two in the qualification matches, with some very respectable scores in there. They, were, they aligned with teams 694 and 5016, where here, as part of the 4th Alliance, they would go on to uh, best the 5th Alliance going 2-0. and best, Then they would go on to win the next four, going 6-0 and in the playoffs, winning this regional in the finals against 578, 3419, and 3017, where here they would become the New York City Regional Champions, which is a very impressive feat, going 12-2 and overall, only losing two matches in this competition. Now, this would qualify them for the World Championship. However, they went on to the Finger Lakes after this. Finger Lakes Regional, they ranked 24th, going 6-4. and four. However, not being selected by an alliance here. Although one of their students was honored with the very high honor of the first Dean's List Finalist Award. This being Aiden Uvani. Next, they would go on to the World Championship, where they would rank 57th, better than the first year, going 4-6. and six. And although not being selected by an alliance, merely being at the championship is a very impressive feat as well as being an active part of some of these very high scores they were able to accomplish. Now we're going to move on to the next year, this being 2017, where in their fourth year of robotics, they would uh, start at the Finger Lakes Regional, where here, as rank fourth, going 8-2 and two in the qualification matches, they would align with Team 15-11 once again, and then Team 870, 
where here they'll go on to win both quarterfinals matches with 266 and 314 being very respectable scores. Then they'd go into the semifinals where they would be bested by 271, 1507, and 340. However, going 2-2 two two in the playoffs, making the semis in their first competition being a very impressive feat, as well as being a captain of the Fourth Alliance, making their way to the semis was very impressive, as well as with one of their students this time being Jason Martino being credited with a very impressive first Deans finalist award. Now then they would move on to the New York City Regional, where they would go 5-8 five and, eight, five and eight overall with a record of 4-6 and six in the qualification matches, where they would rank 31st and then be in alliance with 23-44 and 25-79. And then as the 7th alliance against the 2nd, they lost the first match, won the second match, but then lost the tiebreaker, ending their season and competition in the their competition in season in the qualification in the quarterfinals. However, they were able to upset in that one match, which was a very impressive feat against 694, 4571, and 333. Now this was a also a good year for them where they won the quality award at the New York City Regional. And then overall they won 15 and 12, which is still a positive record overall. And then they also went on to some uh some off-season events as well, ending up going 26 and 23, also being a positive, even after all of the off-seasons they went to. Now let's go to 2018, this being arguably their best season overall, where they started off at the central, the inaugural Central New York Regional. Why I say that is because this was the first ever time that they had a Central New York Regional in Utica, New York, where they ranked 34th after all of their, after all of their qualification matches, they ranked 34th where they were picked by the alliance of 340 and 2791, another team I might cover another day, where here they went on to go 5-0 in the playoffs, after that being replaced by another team. However, they would go on to win this regional, being their first competition of the year, also a week one becoming a regional winner, and then also winning the Great Professionalism Award sponsored by Johnson & Johnson. Now after this, they would go on to the Finger Lakes regional two weeks later, where they would go 6-4, and four, ranking 18th, however not being selected by alliance, or putting up some nice scores and being a good part of their alliances in the qualifications. Next up, they would go on to their third region, the Buckeye region, two weeks later, where they would rank 13th, going 13-5 and five overall, where here they would align with teams 33-14 and 41-45 as part of the fourth alliance, where they'll go on to win their first, lose their second, yet win the tiebreaker in the, in the quarterfinals. And then they would move on to the semifinals, where they'd win both, upsetting the alliance upsetting as part of the Blue Alliance, and then they move on to the finals where they would lose the first match, but yet win the next two to go on to become the regional winners against 291, 379, and 6490, becoming the champions of the Buckeye Regional and their second regional win of 2018. Now because of this, they moved on to the Daily Division on the Detroit Championship, qualifying based off of two regional wins where they only needed one, where here they were ranked 49th, going 5-5 five and five overall, having an even record, however, however putting up some nice some nice scores in the qualification matches. They were not chosen here, yet once again, winning two regionals makes this a very good year for them, as well as going overall 32-23 and 23 being a very respectable record, and with those two regional wins, making it a very good year for them, and also one of the reasons why I thought of this, uh, why many people think of this, them as a very underrated team, is they're a very good team from New York, especially this showing. Now let's move on to the 2019 season. Where in 2019, this most recent year, they started at the, at the Central New York Regional, which became a Week 3 event this year, where they go 8, 9, and 1 overall, becoming Week 20th, where they would align with Team 125 and 4930, where as a fourth alliance, they would go on to beat the fifth alliance and then go on to the semis where they would lose to the number one alliance. However, going 2 and 2 in the playoffs, being a good, being a good performance here, and an overall score of 8, 9, and 1 especially with some of their very good scores and qualifications being a good showing for here. Now, going on to the Buckeye Regional, doing the second regional, they would go 3-6, and six, ranking 43, however not being chosen, however with some good scores here and there in the qualifications. Overall, 2019, they did have a overall match score of 11-15-1, not being their best. However, they did, have, they did go to Battle Cry 20, so they had another good offseason they went to. Overall, 2019 wasn't their best year, but it wasn't a bad year, especially with some of the great scores they were able to put up. Thank you all for watching. I wanted to cover this team today. It was one of the other ones that was in my form. So please give me any ideas down in the comments below or in the form I'll be linking below. If you have any ideas, please let me know. This is something that I like to do. So please let me know anything you want me to do, and I will cover it at my earliest convenience. Thank you all for listening. This has been the FRC Historian.